Hey guys, this is Balu and today I will show you how I created this surreal scene in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful. So without any further ado, let's start today's video. Here I am using Blender 3.4.1. Nice. So first of all, let's import our skull model. So in order to get this skull model, I am using Blender Kit which is free to download. So in this search bar, I will search as skull. You can use any of the model you like. So here we got few skulls. So from here, I think I will select this skull. So select that skull and just click on that it will be imported here so press s and increase the scaling now we got our skull model so let's close this so let's check the mesh here first so select the model come to this wireframe so here the mesh is not looking proper so let's fix that first so for that we will be using remesh modifier so being selected our model come to this modifier options here it got modifier already i will delete that one now add modifier and add remesh modifier and change this to smooth and octree depth value i will change this to 5 and disable this remove disconnected option okay so here we got the skull model and if i change this to solid viewport so i think this is fine for the tutorial and let's apply the modifier now right click and shade smooth okay so now we got this low poly skull now let's add uv sphere in the scene so go to this add mesh select this uv sphere so press s and increase the scaling make it bit larger than the skull so okay so this much is fine now again add modifier for this sphere that is subdivision surface and levels i will increase this to two and apply the modifier now right click and shade smooth okay so let's animate the sphere here so be on the first frame select the sphere press i and add a keyframe for location now move to i think 180 frames is enough and let's bring the sphere so that it covers the skull completely so let's enable this wireframe so here the skull is covered completely so you can press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for location so now if i play this we got this kind of animation where the sphere is covering the skull completely nice so here the speed is not constant so b on this timeline press a on the keyboard to select the keyframes all keyframes now press t and select this linear now the speed will be constant fine so let's uncheck or disable this x revision now select the skull model come to this modifier options add modifier and add boolean modifier so let it be difference in object select the sphere okay so now if i play this let's hide out this sphere you can see the skull is getting disappeared wherever this sphere is touching okay so this is what we required and if we observe this is not looking good this is looking flat right so let's make it a bit interesting so select the uv sphere bring it back select the sphere come to this modifier options add modifier and add displace modifier now click on this texture properties new texture and type change it to clouds so now we got this kind of distortion on the sphere now come to this properties sorry come to this modifier options and strength i will reduce this to 0.35 so i think this much is fine now let's shift the starting point so i think we need to move this a bit so that it is not touching the side okay so now if i hide this you can see the disappearing of the skull is not even and this is looking good so now let's work on particle system before moving on to particle system we need to apply dynamic paint for the skull and the sphere so if i select the sphere and if i apply particle system here so if i move on to this particle system and click on this plus icon so now if i play this you can see the particles are getting emitted throughout the mesh so here we don't want that to happen we want that particles to be emitted only from the tip of the skull so for that reason we will be using dynamic paint to achieve that so i will show you how to do that so let's remove this particle system bring back our sphere so now select the sphere come to this physics property add dynamic paint so type let it be canvas add canvas and enable this anti-aliasing so frame start and end 1 to 250 is fine surface type change it to weight and this much is enough now select this sphere add dynamic paint but type change it to brush so here skull will be canvas uv sphere will be brush so add brush so paint change it to mesh volume and proximity okay 
and distance i will reduce this to 0.5 i will explain what this distance value is so now if i select this and if i move on to this weight paint you can see nothing is happening because we have not assigned vertex to this output so here you can say we need to assign vertex group here so let's move on to this object mode now select the skull come to this object data properties simply click on this vertex group plus icon so i will rename this as points okay so after that come to this physics property scroll down to this output and in vertex group select the group which we have created I'll select that points okay so now if i select the skull and if i move on to this weight paint mode now you can see the influence here and the distance indicates the influence from total influence to non-influencing area so here check the distance between this red color and this light blue and let's change this to object mode now select this sphere and distance let's reduce this to 0.25 and now again select the skull change this to weight paint now you can see the distance so here we want only this much of portion in order to use for particle system so if i hide this you can say we don't want this red portion and we don't want this blue portion we want only green portion for particles so now in order to extract only this portion green portion we need to use mask modifier so come to this modifier options first change this to object mode now before applying mask modifier onto the skull we need to duplicate the skull so select the skull shift d right click okay so now for this skull we will be applying the mask right so let's rename this as mask okay so let's hide out this skull now only select this mask now come to this modifier of properties add modifier and add mask so in vertex group we need to select the group which we have created now you can see we got only that much of portion now we can apply particle system onto this area now being selected this one come to this particle properties so our particle system click on this plus icon so now if i play this you can say we are getting particles emitted but here we are finding some glitch here so here you can observe these particles are falling down first we need to fix that so scroll down come to this source option emit from change this to volume and enable this use modifier stack so simply enable that now it is got fixed so we need these particles to be emitting from 1 to 150 frames only so at 150 frame this sphere will be covering completely right so let me show you so if i select this sphere you can see at 188 frame the sphere will be covering the skull completely so till these frames only we want the particles to be emitted so later we don't want that particles so let's do that so select this mask come to this emission properties so particle start frame is one end frame i will change this to 180 so lifetime i will give it 200 so now if i play this we got the particles but these particles are falling down so we don't want this to be happening so select this particle system scroll down come to the field weight and gravity make it zero so now if i play this you can see the particles are not falling down and this is fine so now in the place of particles we want butterflies so here i'm using a few butterfly models from sketchfab download link in the description if you want to use the same those are animated ones so here i will be using that so let's import those models so i think okay this got the animation let's see whether the animation will be staying throughout the timeline no so the animation is stopping at 24th frame so you want this animation to be throughout the timeline so for that let's change this to graph editor let's bring it here let's disable this here now you can see we got this keyframes right so b press a on the keyboard to select all the keyframes and shift e and make it cyclic so now we will have that animation throughout the timeline okay so you can see we will get the animation throughout the timeline so for this also we want the animation so select the rig so here we got the rig right select the rig press a on the keyboard shift e and make it cyclic so now we will have that animation throughout now select the both butterflies okay see both butterflies are selected press m on the keyboard click on this plus new collection and i will rename this as butterflies and okay so now we got butterflies in this butterfly group okay now come to this particle system 
let's move on to this first frame now select this mesh where we have applied particle system come to the render come to this render options render as change it to collection and in collection we need to select the butterfly collection so now if i play this we will have butterflies emitting from that portion nice so you can see we are getting that butterflies but this movement is not looking that much good so what we can do we can enable the rotation option and orientation change it to normal tangent so now if i play this you can see we are getting that butterflies emitted nice so let's add force field so go to this add come to this force field and add turbulence so select the turbulence here so let's place the turbulence increase the scaling and come to the strength options i will increase the strength to 5 and i think this much is fine so now enable this main skull so here we got the main skull right and this sphere we don't want that to be visible in render so we don't want this to be visible in viewport or in render so we can hide it in viewport and click on this camera icon to disable in renders also okay so now let's bake the simulation so select the particles scroll down come to this catchy option and here you can see this is grayed out because i haven't saved the file so first save the file so control s so now you can see we got an option to bake here so before baking this if you want to increase the count you can do that so i will change the count so select this mesh where we have applied particle system come to this particle properties so number i will increase this to 5 or else let's increase this to 8000 okay so after that just click on this bake button so if you want to reduce the scaling so if i play this you can see the scaling is not looking that much high so if you want to increase or decrease the scaling you can increase or decrease the scaling here so if i change this to 0.06 the scaling will be high and scale randomness i will leave to 0.5 only okay so once this is done come to this catchy option and click on this bake so now if i play this you can see we got those butterflies getting emitted from the skull so after that add materials add a ground plane and add objects whichever you like to make this scene look better so in this way we can create this kind of surreal scenes in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye